Hi folks, just a real quick one here. I was asked in the comments on part three of this video for a few more details on how the electrodes are mounted. So I've torn it all to pieces just so you can have a look. So these aluminium sections are just a half inch by one inch, two mil thick aluminium square section. Um, I'm not sure how long they are, about 220 mil, something like that. And I just gang drilled through there to get a nice central eight mil hole, um, drilled couple of holes about 15 mil apart got it wrong the first time um, these bits on the front where we actually hold the electrodes it's just bent over and then I scored grooves in there with a hacksaw blade did the same on the other side and then just soldered on a bit of the copper rod there so that when we clamp it together we get oh that should sit in the groove quite reasonably and then when that's bolted through, that bites down and holds it in. Um, it would probably have been better to have a crosshatch pattern on here to hold things at any angle, but that was beyond my abilities on a Sunday morning, apparently. So um, I'm just going to assemble this all back together in high speed so you can see how it all fits. But that's really all there is to the actual electrode holding part. OK, let's go. I should mention that these holes here are actually drilled intentionally off center. This copper bar is 15 mil thick. This is only 12 and a half mil thick. So in order to get things to line up nicely, because we want it flush with one edge, it means we have a bit of an overhang on the other side. These are double bolted on for extra stability. So just a bolt to hold it tight and then a second bolt on top. And this is just part of a biro that I sliced out. And the last bit, this uh, kind of hand cover that I printed just to make it more comfortable and give you something to press on when you're welding. And then adjusting these tips is pretty straightforward because you just feel the right level and then tighten the screw. Right, that's it. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time. Bye.